Hello, and welcome to Destiny Toys Corner, and today we are reviewing the, from the Wolverine sort of anniversary of this year and the Marvel Legends series the two pack with Cowboy Logan and Creed Sabretooth. Now, these guys look absolutely fantastic, and I love the new window display, the new artwork, the squared off boxes as well absolutely love it um yeah so we've got wolverine down on the side here we've got some nice slashes there one with saber tooth in it and with wolverine which extends around to the outside so we've got saber tooth here and then we've got the wolverine as well jumping in as well here we've got alternative heads not much difference here in the actual heads as well and this one got a mouth closed and open alternative hands on this side as well and you've got some playing cards so looking pretty cool and kind of loving the new window box on the back we've got a little bit of a bio we've got a nice picture of the comic that they come from and a few other little parts down here to celebrate the anniversary of wolverine so 50 years old guys so i guess without further ado let's crack these two bad boys open so here they are in their little blister box. You can actually tell now the difference in height between Sabretooth and Wolverine. In there, you, see, you only see across here, so they kind of look the same size. But yeah, look at the size of that Sabretooth. He looks immense and fantastic. And Logan looking like his small, stubby self, as per usual. So we just get these two out for our first impressions. I'm going to first go after Sabretooth. Uh, the main reason I got this one here. And um, I've been longing for a decent Sabretooth, especially from the Jim Lee line kind of type here. And he looks great. Just the size of him. Feels a bit hollow on the plastic sort of form of it, but no, he does look great. And then what we can do, we can pull out Wolverine as well. And um, he's looking really nice as well. And do like his claws as well for the open palm. So yeah, he's looking pretty cool. So I'm gonna go away, put these two through their paces and we see you in a moment. taking their pictures and what can I say about these figures well to be honest the figures are the standout part what is the letdown of this is the accessories and I know it shouldn't really be based on accessories but being a double pack and you feel like you want to get accessories and it looks like it comes with oodles of accessories extra heads extra hands and stuff and I just feel like well what's the point in these because sometimes it feels like you're not even changing the accessories to really sort of change the cosmetic look of the actual figure itself but so we get into the accessories straight away so wolverine comes with like two clawed hands which is obviously a main thing for wolverine uh you got sort of fur on the back there nice fisty cuffs as well on a peg system and on a hinge and they go inwards but uh, yeah the claw hands and the silvering on there is really really nice like it's probably like the better wolverine kind of claws to be honest he comes with a couple of extra other hands so he's got like a, a sort of open gripped hand and then we've got like a, a more of a closed gripped and that is for these cards here so on the back really nice details we've got xavier there and on the inside you've got the sort of like playing cards there and then what you can do is just pop those in there and make him look like he's uh, having a game of cards however creed doesn't come with any cards so you can't even look like they're having a, a friendly match but um, yeah, you can hold them just like so, which is pretty cool. This closed hand, I mean, I guess you can see him sort of lining up a shot if he's got his claws open on the other hand. I've got these kind of accessories, like a little Pepsi thing there, you buy them on AliExpress, like dull accessories. But uh, yeah, so you can have a little Pepsi holding it in that hand if you so wish. But uh, at least it grips, but um, yeah, mainly it's a bit of a, a weird thing. I probably would like a closed fist or something there. And then his other accessory is his removable head. So we've got this one here, and then we've got this one as well. Pretty much the same kind of look. This one's got a little bit more of a smirk on it. This one's got more of a sort of downturned mouth. Um, I do prefer the look of this one compared to this one. There's something about the face it just looks a little bit wider compared to this one. I think it may be the eyes. The hats as well, they're different colors different kind of shapes so this one's if you're into your cowboy hats you might know the the difference in names but yeah this one's got the indentation up here and it's more of a darker blue when this one is more of a sort of indiana jones type with a the brown hat on there so the only other difference is like uh, it's more furry on these chops and these sideburns and this one's more kind of trimmed down on the look there you can take these off just on the peg system just like so and then pop in that one on like that and then like that. Well, maybe I do like that one. 
don't know. I just feel like this one here is more rugged Wolverine with his with his hair like that. And then we go into Creed. We can go into his accessories. So he comes with less accessories. I mean, he just comes with these sort of open palmed clawed hands. One is a bit more grippage, uh, so you can probably grab Logan by the foot or something. And then this one is a little bit more kind of curled around on the hands. But if I bring in the ones that he's already got. There's not much difference here, uh, apart from that index finger is slightly a little bit more protuberant here on this one compared to this here. Um, I just feel like there is no need for this hand. I would rather a closed fist or something else to go along with it. And this one is more of an open palmed hand. Uh, compared to the other one, yeah, it is nice. It is a little bit more of a grippage, so we can actually do something with this one. But yeah, the other hand, I just, I just can't see anything at any point. With his mouth though, really nice there, you've got a really nice open mouth and we go into that when we go into the details and then with Creed you can just pop this one on and you've got a nice closed kind of grin on there, so pretty cool. Next up we go through their articulation, so for Wolverine or Logan his head can turn left, he can turn right, he can look down this far and then look up as well, it's on the old sort of hinge up on that part there. Arm wise, they can come at this far. There's no butterfly joint, unfortunately. I feel like you definitely need a butterfly joint on there for Wolverine. But his arms can come in. You've got the full rotation around. Rotation at the upper arm here. Double elbow as well that comes all the way around. And they've got rotation at the hinge as well. And uh, wrist, shall I say. Crunch forward, not so much. Back a little bit as well. And you've got a little bit of swagger in there. Got rotation here at the waist. Leg wise, come up this way forward back upper fire rotation there and we've got a double knee as well with the little uh, peg show in here if you're into that thing and then you've got a rocker and a pivot at the ankle so all in all not too bad articulation i just kind of wish that he had that kind of claw mark because you can pull those claws right around as he's sort of ripping in with a nice butterfly joint with creed on here head wise he can turn up this much and down it is hindered by his big furry collar unfortunately arms come up this far he has got a butterfly joint in there as well and then obviously you've got full rotation around rotation at the upper bicep double elbow all the way rotation at the wrist and it's also on a hinge then we've got a crunch here a back and forth and then we've got the swivel there at the waist leg wise up this way forward back upper far rotation there got a double knee joint with the hinges or pegs showing in there which is a funny color you've got red on the inside and then we've got hinge as well and pivot on the ankles so yeah good articulation for this guy if you've had the old sort of fashion retro wolverine uh venom and stuff it's the same body as well and i think it was that omega body to begin with but then looking over these guys so let's look at wolverine a little bit more up close and personal and we can go through the actual details of the figure so we've already gone through the heads on there but yeah it's still a nice sort of sculpt on there. Got nice red lips, blue eyes, uh, no colour bleed or anything on there. Coming down to the shirt, I do actually feel like this is probably one of the better looking sort of civilian sort of dressed kind of bodies I've seen. Got the nice sort of like the folds and stuff of the shirt. It makes it quite realistic. And it kind of looks like it really goes down deep there and down into his shirt. So it looks like it is wearing a shirt over the top of it. If you get a little bit closer, you can actually see all the lines and the sort of like parts going through it so you see all the stitching and stuff as well and the nice silver buttons really goes a long way uh, when that's all painted as well and around on the back it's just more of the pattern but with a more textured look across there coming down to his pants you can see all the stitching as well we've got a nice belt with a gold buckle on that part and then going down to his feet as well really nice sort of denim color as well for the actual jeans and we've got some nice brown shoes at the bottom and then going into creed looking really cool on this here that face marks is really nice they're coming around on this part you've got the chops here going around and the nice sort of beady white eyes as well got a nice big fur coming around the top here i feel like it needs a little bit more of a, a brush on there to make it kind of look not a brush but you know a little bit of shading and stuff wouldn't go amiss on the back there it's kind of got it on the front but I kind of wish it went all the way around as well. Looking at the original face that he had on there is the open mouthed, really nicely done. Got the inside and it's actually a bit of extra plastic on in there um, to get that tongue in. So it looks really cool. Nice sort of like angry mouth and the 
no color bleed and all that on the hair as well so yeah it's done really good on those the rest of the actual figure itself is all sort of smooth but the paint job over the top of it we've got these kind of extra plastic parts on here you're not going to stab yourself but it's kind of like an extra sheath over the top of that as well so it's not a molded part it's like a, a separated part there so it actually looks like a glove which is pretty cool um yeah and the rest of the body coming down got the tiger stripes and stuff on there on the browns and then down to his little toes as well and around on the back it's just really nice looking done just a really good figure i mean he's huge absolutely massive compared so we can just do a little uh saber tooth there compared to the retro wolverine um i keep saying wolverine but it's uh the venom so they're the same size on those parts this was the retro one i've repainted it uh black uh to get rid of all those red and blue parts on there and then we've got logan um we can compare him just standing him up i do find there's a little bit of problem with his feet uh trying to make him stand up he's a little bit a bit annoying on that part we can try and get him there stay and then we can bring in another wolverine as well just comparison which is this one here so you can see the sizes are pretty cool compared to, to to the wolverines as well so it makes a nice looking set so now this one's going to go off i really wanted saber tooth so i kind of split it halfway logan's going to go off to my friend fraser uh, fraser figures on instagram if you want to go and check him out and um, that's where his new home will be after this review so thank you so much for joining on this one what do you think of these figures? Do you think the accessories are fantastic? Or what else would you like to see with these figures? Let me know in the comments down below. You can subscribe, you can ding the bell, you can follow me on Instagram, and you can join the channel for 99p or 99 And until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye!